Given your expertise, um, I would be interested uh, in your opinion on how kleptocracy corruption could be weaponized. Because we're always speaking about social media being weaponized, but we're not that much focusing on the field of um, money flows, of corruption and kleptocracy. What is your opinion on this one? Yeah, I think it's a really important topic for us to think about because when we look at the tactics that authoritarian regimes like Russia and China and others are using in order to undermine democracies in other countries, we see a range of tactics that they're using and they actually use these tactics together in combination. So social media, cyber attacks, um, what I call malign financial influence, but it's, you know, kleptocracy corruption is, is a part of that. It's also f other forms of strategic economic coercion, um, using things like, you know, um, energy deals and other things in order to gain influence and subversion of political and social groups. I see this as one toolkit and I think from a a national security and foreign policy perspective, it's important that we understand not only um, each element of that toolkit, but how they all fit together.